What's up YouTube? What's up? What's up? What's up? So in today's video, I want to talk about some videos that I have been uh, looking up on. Um, you know, like related to Illuminati and stuff. And I'm going to explain what the Illuminati is and, and what Illuminati is in my opinion. And um, maybe give you some uh, stuff related to the topic within the Bible. Okay, so first off, I'm going to start off as Christians made Illuminati. Let's get that done and over with. Illuminati is fear-based. If you're curious of what I'm talking about, they're saying, you know, Satan is in this stuff. Satan is in this. Satan is that. You look on, the, you look on YouTube, search up Illuminati, they're saying all these people are against Christianity. All these people are against God. And all these judgments are coming from Christians in itself. And now Christians are the one who actually made Ill what Illuminati is. They did this to put you in fear. To basically get more members in the church. You know. Which I'm going to tell you this. In the Christian faith. All that Illuminati bullshit is within the faith. Because all that stuff is away from God. So all that in the Christian faith is of the devil's work. That's why Christians can't be listening to that music. Christians can't be watching those movies. Christians can't be doing any of that stuff. Because God has nothing to do with it. Now, um, you know, most of, these, most of the stuff, um, you know, all this stuff is what Christians mean. And, you know, Christianity in itself it's fear based in itself anyway um, now for the first start you know they have the concept of hell from the New Testament um, hell was not in the Old Testament hell was never introduced in the Old Testament the uh, hell was actually introduced in the New Testament which was rewritten so you know but Christians believe in that shit they believe I mean obviously you know God wasn't he wasn't liking what the Old Testament was saying so he obviously came back down to earth and contacted someone and said, this was wrong. You need to add hell. You need to add a revelations. You need to add this. So, you know, the New Testament had a lot of different things. Reworded things. You know, rewording the word of God in itself. Um, so, you know, obviously God came down and revived the Old Testament. Um, because, uh, you know, Christians believe in that stuff. So... You know, so Christians believe in the concept of hell, correct? Now, the concept of hell is to keep people in fear and keep people in check in living by the word of God. That is why so many Christians are scared to break the rules of God. They're scared to sin. But yet, it's hypocrisy within itself because 90% of the Christians fucking sin. Fucking sin. They fucking sin. It's hypocrisy. They sin, they repent. They sin, they repent. And then on top of that, you know, they say, we were born sinners, you know, we can't help it. But actually, some of the stuff you do, you can help. You're just not trying to help. Because what you're doing, you're not living by God. You're living by your own needs. And I say this in every fucking video. You're living by your own needs with those choices that you make. And, um, you know, so the concept of hell is basically to put you in fear. Now, if you look at uh, the, con the concepts of the Bible and how to follow the Bible and how to follow God, all these things pointed out at Illuminati and what Illuminati is, all this stuff is in the Bible. Huh. Hmm. As in... People not glorifying God, which is a lot of music today. A lot of music today don't glorify God. They glorify, you know, what, what's, in, what's in life and what's going on in life and stuff. Hmm. And what, what, what does Illuminati always talk about? Stuff that's away from God. Oh, oh my God, I didn't know that. But yeah. Now, if you look at all these Illuminati type videos... On YouTube, you'll see that all these things pointed out at, uh, you know, society's music, society's movies, um, being claimed uh, uh, Illuminati, Satan worshipping, whatever. All these, the way these people are targeting these videos 
are in a Christian aspect or in a religious aspect. It could be either Muslim, Catholic, it doesn't matter. They can be doing it in their own aspect. Because either way, they're all following the same God. They just believe in different prophets. And, um, so yeah, hopefully that cleared up some stuff. Now let's start getting into it. Now, you know, Christians always believed, you know, that, you know, they're so peaceful and loving, but really judging people and saying this is Illuminati, this is of Satan worshipping. How evil does that fucking sound? Now, to me, you know, some of the bad music today, you know, how it glorifies drugs and stuff, but you know, it doesn't matter. Because, you know, these people are just enjoying life. They're just doing what they want to do. They're enjoying life. If they want to do drugs, they want to drink, let them drink. Let them have a good time. You only live once, like I say in all my videos. You only live once. You don't know what's coming next. You might as well put down the Bible and fucking just live your life, you know. Just live your life. Don't worry about sin. Don't worry about all that stuff. You know, you, you got a big life ahead of you. And, uh, you know, humans... The, the usual amount is probably like 60, 70 years old people die. That's about it. Uh, it's, 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 it's very um, low percentage that people have passed that. And the way society is going, my prediction is a lot of people ain't going to live up to that age with how glorified drug use is and all that stuff. With all the different drugs like mollies and all that stuff. But, um, um, yeah. People are just trying to enjoy life, you know. They, that's all they want to do. As long as they're not hurting anybody and stuff, I have no problem with this. But Christians have a problem with this. They don't want you enjoying your life. This is what, when I tell you, a Christian should not be clubbing. A Christian should not be drinking. A Christian should not be you smoking marijuana. A Christian should not be doing drugs. A Christian should not be hanging out with people who aren't of the same religion. Because one, Christians do believe in keeping their circle with only Christians. And trying to keep a Christian aspect and keeping a Christian surrounding and tr keeping their whole life in a holy surrounding. Christians believe in that stuff. They do not believe in being friends with people who are not of their religion. Um, now, I was recently watching this video um, called Lady Gaga Demon Possessed Creepy Interview. <coughs> Obviously, the video was made from a Christian or someone who is of a religious aspect that is related to God in some way um, that is within the Christian faith, but they probably have, like, you know, either a different prophet. They could be a Catholic, a Muslim, like I said. Um, and, you know, they're, they're basically just pausing through the interview and trying to find a creepy face and saying, Oh, my God, it's a demon. Look, her eyes like this. Her eyes like this. She's a demon. She's, she's a demon. Her eyes are like this. And like they were pausing through it. And then, um, you know, the guy was there. And I saw a comment on the video. And the, the, the comment on the video was, um, Notice how the man was starting to talk about God. And she changed the subject right away. Now, first thing, I, I watched the whole video. There was nothing said about God. It was about Jesus. Now, Jesus is a, a Messiah prophet um, in the Christian belief. And um, he's not God, okay? Um, and the video was talking about Jesus. See, now this is how ignorant a lot of Christians are because a lot of Christians believe that Jesus is God. Jesus is not God. God is Jesus' Father. Jesus is the Son of God. See, this, is, this shows how stupid a lot of Christians are. Um, because he said he was talking about God. And if you go look at the video, he was talking about Jesus. And, um, you know, because Jesus was on the top three of, you know, of Lady Gaga's loved, um, she'll do anything for type uh, list. And um, she, Jesus was one of them. And um, this dude uh, made a point saying, um, you know, oh, she skipped over that. She, she changed the subject right, right away when he brought up God. Really, he brought up Jesus. Oh, excuse me, hiccups. He brought up Jesus. And, um, okay, idiot, 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 okay, let's get this straight, now that, see Lady Gaga was being respectful towards her viewers, 
for one, being respectful towards her fans because she knows not everyone is going to be of the same faith as her. Lady Gaga was doing something smart. And this is what most you religious bigots should be like in public. When asked of a question like that, you will you do not answer questions like that. You want to know why? Because it comes off as you can be coming off as closed-minded, better than someone else. Because, you know, not everyone believes in that stuff. This is why I believe in keeping your religion at home. If you keep your religion at home, you know, and in the public, you know, in the public you're a business person, you know. Um, you're not, you're not uh, having a religious aspect with everything. You know, you're keeping a realistic view on everything. Not your fucking fantasy land or your god or whatever. It's really fucking ignorant to talk about that stuff. Um, especially when you know you have a wide fan base. And those fan base, that fan base could be a variety of religions. And she was just being respectful because... See, if Lady Gaga were to talk about her beliefs and how much she loved Jesus and stuff, that, see, a lot of these, a lot of her fans could be in a religious household that is of a different religion. And they'll be like, oh, Lady Gaga likes Jesus. Oh, maybe I should like Jesus too. Maybe I should like Jesus too. But not everyone is a Christian. Idiot. So Lady Gaga was taking the right motive when being asked that question. She was right. To change this topic because she was being respectful. Now, you know, people always are talking about how peaceful and loving Christians are. But this whole Illuminati-based creation is a form of judgment. It's, ju it's a judgment because it's not of God. So they're saying it's of Satan, of devil worshipping, of whatever. And they point out all these little things, all these little signature signs, whatever the fuck they can find. Like they have no life at all and they're just fucking trying to prove that this is not of God. And they'll, fu they'll find every little piece, bit, it doesn't fucking matter. And they'll find stuff that doesn't even look satanic and try to make it satanic. Just to fucking prove to you that it's of the devil. Now if you look at it. This is just a fucking form of judgment. Because someone else is actually enjoying life. And they're actually putting how they enjoy their life. And what they want to sing about in their, in, their, in their music. And it's not about God. And that really pisses Christians off. The Illuminati is a way to get more followers. Now my view on Illuminati. Is basically um, big businesses. Big corporations monopolizing the stock market because in a Christian's aspect Illuminati is um, people using Satan devil worship whatever um, and to get more money greed you know get more money and more money and make business off of these things now give don't get me wrong uh, record companies and stuff are a part of a monopoly um, and they're also a part of big corporations because a lot of record deals are worldwide. Um, like Universal, for example. Um, um, Universal goes fucking all around the world, pretty much. But um, it is a monopoly in a way. Um, and record deals are big corporations. But they're not fucking using devil, Satan, worship, whatever the fuck. They're business people. Why the fuck would they be focusing on your fairy tale when they're making fucking money? You know what I mean? I mean, that's like me saying, oh, the Bible industry must be fucking Illuminati, man. Look at all these fucking Bibles they fucking sell. This is a fucking Illuminati because Christians are supposed to give these things out for free. Jesus was highly against these things. This is Illuminati right here. Because Jesus spread the word of God for free. And these Christians are fucking making Bibles and charging people $20 for a Bible? This is Illuminati. You see how stupid that fucking sounds? It's a fucking business marketing scheme. And, um, you know, record labels do it good. They find the right people to make money for their record label. And, um, record labels make 
tons of money. The rappers don't even make as much money as the record labels do. That's why record labels are a monopoly, basically. Because um, they pretty much run the media. Um, you also got, you know, big corporations, big businesses, you know, like McDonald's. McDonald's is a great example of a monopoly. And it actually has mo monopolized the stock markets um, a few times. And, um, you know, they uh, th something happened, you know, they had to, like, lower it down to where it was legal again. Because, you know, having a monopoly is illegal. That's why I think a lot of corporations within their genre of corporations, you know, like record labels will co cooperate with other record labels. Fast food will cooperate with other fast foods um, in order to monopolize the stock market legally. That way, um, there's a bunch of um, competition for, you know, like local shops. It don't matter. There's going to be competition, but there is no competition comparing it to a local place because a fast food joint killed it killed it there's little record labels little record companies you know like little bitty ones uh big competition with like universal interscope they're never going to make it that big because you got record labels who monopolize the record label industry if that makes any sense this has nothing to do with devil worship, Satan worship. It's just a businessman making deals with other businessmen to increase their population pay of their record labels or their fast food or, you know, etc. Um, but anyway, this all this stuff is a form of fucking evil in the Christian aspect. Um, but then again, in the Christian faith, if you go to a Christian store... All those Christian products are being sold. All those Christian products are being sold. But in the Bible, Jesus was against that stuff. Jesus didn't spread the word of God for money. He spread it for free. So does this mean Christian bookstores are of the devil? Because it's a sin what they're doing when they're selling the Bibles. That's a sin. Um, no, no, no. Let's get into some stuff to prove how evil this shit is. Because all this Illuminati targeting stuff is a form of judgment. And it's fucking evil in my mind. Because you're saying, you know, oh my god, that person's evil, you know. He's not talking about God. She's not talking about God. She's talking about stuff in her life. This is not of God. Now, to me... Uh, what I think is evil is um, Christian music. I think Christian music is fucking evil. You want to know why I think it's fucking evil? I mean, it's way more evil than the mainstream music of today. Even though, you know, uh, some of the music uh, glorifies, you know, ignorance within the society in a way. Uh, like, you know, people losing self-respect and all for themselves and stuff. But, you know, I'm not very go to with that stuff because you know I want people to be uh, respectful of themselves you know to live a long happy life but then again you know you are yourself I'm myself I do things to please myself and others will do things to please themselves um, so I can't really say anything on that but um you know um fuck what was I saying but anyway um yeah the Christian I think Christian music is fucking evil as hell because you know, um, for example, um, you know, they're singing about God. They're singing about Jesus. Um, you know, they're glorifying God. They're glorifying Jesus. Basically doing a form of worship in the music form. Now, you might say, um, what's the harm in that? Oh, <laughs> really? Have you guys read the Bible and what it stands for? You're worshiping a God that was sexist towards women, child abuse throughout the Old Testament, um, tons of gruesome murders, torture, even torture through the, for the Son of God. That's fucking disgusting that you worship that stuff. And, um, 
And then, you know, on top of that, I was thinking about it today when I was at the mall because I was seeing some shit. Well, actually, I saw it in the movie, the Carrie movie. And, you know, I'm looking at Jesus on the fucking crucifix. And I'm like, you know, that's fucking disgusting and very gruesome that they have that as a fucking symbol. They have a symbol of a man nailed to a crucifix. Now, if you're familiar with what a crucifix is, the crucifix is not actually a religious symbol. That was actually a form of torture back in the old day. And it's just a man hanging there, nailed to a cross. I'm like, this is fu that's fucking disgusting. Who wants to see that shit? You know? You're you're praising someone who was fucking murdered, basically. I think that's I think that's a form of murder worship. Because of the way he died and everything that runs throughout the Bible. All those murders. Um, you know, the first son of Egypt. Everyone knows what the first son of Egypt was. How they killed the firstborn son, the firstborn cattle throughout Egypt to prove that God was better than what the Egyptians believed. Um, that was how they did it. And I think that's a very disgusting. And, you know, another thing a Christian believed was in the Old Testament where... They believed in child abuse and, um, you know, beating your kid to not where he dies, but to where he learns um, what evil is. And they did use die and beating your child in the same fucking sentence. And if you don't believe me, the scripture goes a little something like this. And, um, you may swing thy rod at the son of a child, for he will not die. Okay. <laughs> Using... Whipping your child and die in the same sentence is fucking disgusting in my opinion. That's fucking disgusting. Beating the evil out of a child. He will not die. Um, what other things is in the fucking Bible? Oh man, there's everything. There's ritual human sacrifice in the Bible. There's rape in the Bible. Murder in the Bible, slavery in the Bible. <sighs> There's a bunch of shit in the fucking Bible. Um, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little bit of taste of this evil shit that runs throughout the Bible. Um, let's. Um, okay, so there's a, a scripture. Um, they titled it, um, they, they titled each scripture, you know, to give you a summary of what it is and what it, um, you know, to give you a, cause you know, it's in, you know, the Bible format, it might be an Old Testament, but in New Testament. Um, so let's see, um, anyone arrogant enough to reject the verdict of the judge of the priest who represents the Lord, your God must be put to death. Such evil must purge from Israel. Deuteronomy 17.12 um, I think that's pretty gruesome. Um, basically they're saying, kill people who don't listen to priests. Um, <laughs> wow, Christians, that's fucking evil in my opinion. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it's evil to others too. Um, okay, let's see. You should not let a sorceress live Exodus twenty two twelve, huh? Basically, they're saying kill witches. Um, oh wow. Um, that kind of reminds me of the Salem witch trials, and I'm sure everyone knows what the Salem witch trials is. It's of Christian history, where they um, basically they found people who looked like witches, who looked like witches. How judgmental is that? You, they looked like witches. What the fuck? How evil is that? And then when they found them, they tie them to a chair, and then they throw them into the lake. If they floated, they were a witch. If they drowned, they were human. All the people drowned. No one fucking floated. But yet they still kept murdering all these people who they thought were witches. That's fucking disgusting in my mind. And I'm pretty sure that's disgusting to everyone with a fucking brain. Okay, um, here's one for the gay people who are Christian, which 
to me, if you're gay and you're Christian, you fucking look goofy as hell. You know, just like women in Christianity look goofy as hell because um, Christianity was very sexist towards females. And whether it's in the Old Testament or the New Testament, both of them are pretty sexist towards females no matter what way you put it, what format you put it. It's still sexist towards females. And um, when I see a f female... Um, when I see a female, basically, in the Christian faith, I just think to myself, Do you not even open the Bible? I mean, come on. That stuff is clearly sexist towards you, and yet you follow it. But anyway, if a man lies with a male as with a woman, as with a woman, both of them shall be put to death. For their abdominal deed, they have fortified their lives. Leviticus 2013. Now let me reread that because I did kind of set her up on it. Because, you know, it was in the Bible format. And I was like, what? That's not correct. But then again, it's, I think that was from the Old Testament. Um, but it says, if a man lies with another male as with a woman... Basically, if you're laying with another male in the same act, which you should be laying with a woman, they're saying both them shall be put to death. Basically, both males should be put to death. Or if it's in a female's case, female on female, they should be put to death for their abdominal deed. They have fortified their lives. Leviticus 2013. If you don't believe that, um, and see, that's, that's why I don't get why there are gay Christians. It's all fucking evil within it. Um, a man or a woman who acts as a medium or a fortune teller shall be put to death by stoning. This was obviously in the Old Testament. They have no one but themselves to blame for their death. Leviticus 20.27 20, so basically they're saying, you know, kill the people who claim to be like fortune tellers, psychics, people who can see the future, um, you know, kill those people. Kill them. Um, here's one. Whoever strikes his father or mother shall be put to death. Exodus 21.15 Death for hitting, that's basically saying if you hit your mother or father, Christians should off with their head. So Christians, if you want to be a good Christian, if if if, if uh, your kid hits you, um, in any way, um, you you need to kill him. I mean, that's what a Christian would do in that form of punishment. And if you don't believe me, Exodus twenty one fifteen. Um, if one curses his father or mother, his lamp will go out at the coming of darkness. All who curse their father or mother must be put to death. They are guilty of capital offense. Um, the, the, and that is Leviticus 29. Um, so yeah. So basically, death for cursing your parents. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. That's, that's very, that's very, that's very holy if you ask me. Very peaceful. Oh, here's one. Here's one to all those people who, um, you know, um, do lust, underage sex, and all that stuff. If a man commits adultery with another man's wife, both the man and the woman must be put to death. Leviticus 2010. So basically, all these people who claim Christian and they cheat on their wife, cheat on their girlfriend, cheat on, you know, their significant other, um... There, you, you shouldn't divorce, you shouldn't fight. Basically, both those people should be put to death. And, um, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, death for for fornication. A priest's daughter who loses her honor by committing fornication and thereby dishonors her father also shall be burned to death. Leviticus 29. Alright, I'm going to get off this page. Um... Let's go to ritual human sacrifices and let's see what we got here. <laughs> oh, this one shall be good. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Let's see. Whew. The one who has 
stolen what was set apart for destruction will himself be burned with fire along with everything he has for he has broken the covenant of the Lord and has done a horrible thing in Israel Joshua 715 oh that's very peaceful I must say very peaceful um Chastis the little, they shall be greatly blessed because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace, he proved them and as sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. In time of their visitation, they shall shine and shall dart about as sparks through stubble. Wisdom 3, 5 through 7. The Book of Wisdom of Solomon. Uh, this is a Catholic version of the Bible. And the Catholics, basically the Holy Bible is a mockery of the Catholic Church. Um, so yeah, very holy, I must say. Um, here's one that Christians should be used to seeing this is another Catholic Bible uh, as for you son of man prophecy thus says the Lord God against the Amani, um, Ammonites and their insults that is uh, that was the war I think was that was ran in Egypt and they called those people Ammonites um, and their insults a sword a sword is drawn for slaughter, burnished to consume and to flash lightning because you planned with false visions and lying divinations to lay it on the necks of depraved and wicked men whose day has come when their crimes are at an end. Return it to its sheath. In the place where you were created, in the Lord of your organ, I will judge you. I will pour out my indignation upon you, breathing my fiery wrath upon you. I will hand you over to the ravaging man, artisans of destruction. You shall be fuel for the fire. Your blood shall flow throughout the land. You shall not be remembered, for I... The Lord hath spoken, Ezekiel 21, 33 through 37. Okay, now I'm going to get off that page, and let's go to another page. Hmm. Or should, should I just, actually, I want to do the rape in the Bible. Let's see some rape in the Bible. Uh-huh. Oh, wow, some of these are pretty, pretty long. Okay, um, let's read this, um. Numbers, I'm going to be reading Numbers 31, 7 through 18. Okay. They attacked, Mid they attacked Midian just as the Lord had commanded Moses, and they killed all the men, all five of the Midianites, kings, Evi, Rickham, Zer, Hur, and Reba died in the battle. They also killed Balaam, son of Beor, with the sword. Then the Israelites' army captured the Midianite women and children and children and seized their cattle and flocks, all their wealth as plunder. They burned all the towns and villages where the Midianites had lived. After they had gathered the plunder and captives, both people and animals, they brought them all to Moses and Eleazar, the priest, and to the whole community of Israel, which was camped on plains of Moab beside the Jordan River across from Jericho. Mo Moses, Eleazar, the priest, and all the leaders of people went to meet them outside the camp. But Moses was furious with all the military commanders who had returned from the battle. 
Why have you let all the women live? He demanded. They, these are the ones who followed Balaam's advice and caused the people of Israel to rebel against the Lord at Mount Peor. They are the ones who caused the plague to strike the Lord's people. Now kill all the boys and all the women who have slept with a man. Only the young girls who are virgins may live. You may keep them for yourselves. How disgusting is this? How disgusting is that? And if you do not believe me that that was in the Bible, Numbers 31, 7 through 18, and judging by the format of that, that was in the New Testament. Because that, that was not in the Old Testament. Because you can tell by the wording and stuff that that was from the New Testament. That's disgusting in my opinion. And when I hear Christian music or something of the Christian faith, people preaching about this God who promoted all this stuff, that is fucking evil in my my mind. Waka Flocka, Nicki Minaj, Justin Bieber, Lady Gaga, all the people on the radio station, all the people in mainstream music, they do not promote this fucking stuff that the Christian music promote because the Christian music promotes all this evil and shit, all this gruesome brutality, all this sexist, child abuse, baby murdering, child killing. Mm, it's just disgusting in my opinion. And when I see people who are Christian, who are still Catholic, who are still Muslim, who are still anything related to those religions that follow God, they just have a different prophet, different messiah, who the fuck cares. It's all fucking evil. All fucking disgusting. And when Christian music talks about how Christian music is the good way to go. You just take a look at the fucking Bible and you take a look at some of these fucking scriptures and actually read what God supports. Because in my mind, as a fucking human being, I don't agree with any of this shit because it's fucking evil in my fucking mind. And when I hear a Christian music, I turn that shit off right a fucking way because I do not support that shit that God supports. I don't support that shit at all. I support life. I support people and enjoying their life. I'm not like you fucking Christians who worship a murder. All you Christians are are murder worshipers. That's all you fucking are. You're a fucking psychopath. You want to follow a demented, fucked up, diabolical God. You fucking go ahead, you fucking psychopath. You may have read the Bible numerous times and you only see good throughout it. If you think murder, plundering, little kids, rape of women... Being sexist, if you think all that is holy and good, you're fucking fucked up in the head and you're a fucking psychopath. You got me? That's fucking disgusting in my eyes and you're nothing but a piece of scum fucking shit. I'm done here. Because this shit really fucking irks me to know that Christianity, there's such a fucking big following of it. When the Bible says shit like that, it's disgusting in my mind. Who the fuck would worship something like that? Who the fuck would worship something like that? Especially when there's better religions out there. And besides on that, the history of Christians are disgusting. The history of Christian faith is disgusting. Whether it be from the Salem witch trials, which was disgusting. I done talked about that. But what about in the Scandinavian area? This is why Christians are very fucking hated in the Scandinavian area. And they fucking always will be hated there because of everything that fucking happened there. Christians went in there, they invaded the Scandinavian area, killed all the fucking Vikings, pagans, it didn't fucking matter. They killed them all for not being a fucking Christian. Nothing but brutality ran through the Scandinavian area because they weren't of the Christian faith. How fucking disgusting is that? And if you call yourself a Christian, 
I will look you in the fucking eye and I will say you fucking disgust me you scum piece of shit because you follow this fucking shit. You follow all of this psychopathic stuff yet you call yourself holy. Yet you call yourself peaceful when nothing, everything in the Bible is nothing but pure hypocrisy. Nothing but pure hypocrisy. I don't have any sympathy for a fucking Christian because they follow shit like that. If you want to follow shit like that, you have no sympathy from me because to me, in my mind, you're nothing but a fucking murder worshiper. That's all you fucking are. You don't give a fuck about people having a good time in life. You don't give a fuck about that. You worry about worshiping your fucking demented god who murdered tons of people. All this chaos throughout the Bible, it's fucking disgusting. What kind of peaceful God supports that shit? You know? And it's not just Christians. Go read the Catholic Bible. Go read the lost chapters of the Bible. Read the Quran if you're Muslim. All the stuff is disgusting. The Book of Mormon. Disgusting. All of it. Disgusting. Why are there people... Why are these people so psychopathic and why do they follow such demented gods? Why do they follow such a demented god? I don't get it. It's disgusting in my eyes. And you're nothing but a psychopath and nothing but murder worshippers. And, um, you know, I have no sympathy for any of you motherfuckers. I don't give a fuck how nice you are. This stuff ruins the fucking lives of people. You have no sympathy for me because you're nothing but a murder worshipper to me. I believe in, you know, being peaceful towards each other, having a good life with one another. I believe in diversity. I love diversity. Diversity does nothing but bring peace, and it actually opens your mind to change. And um, that's one thing Christians do not like. Christians are very close-minded, as are other religions. Other religions are close-minded, too, because each religion believes in only having their surroundings with their own religion. That's all they believe in. What's the point of diversity if you can't even do if you can't even diversify, you know? It's it's really sickening to hear stuff like this and that people worship this stuff. In my eyes you're nothing but a psychopath. Anyway, this is a forty minute forty one minute vlog. If you sat through it all, I hope you enjoyed this rant. I think I hit it pretty fucking good. Anyway, Peace.